What up, everyone? How's it going? This is Bharat here. Welcome back to yet another PyQt5 tutorial series video. In the previous video, we learned about layouts. Very important concept. We learned about that. And continuing on, we're going to be learning about dialog boxes. Uh, in particular, pop-up windows. In UI uh, programming, you you have to learn about pop-up windows because a lot of things are that. In particular, these are called as dialog boxes, the dialog windows. And I'm going to be showing you guys the important dialog called as a queue input dialog, wherein you can show what dialog to the user and get data from the user as well it's a very important widget so i'm going to be uh, talking about that in detail in this video let's get this video started straight away all right so as as we have seen so far we have to uh, create a simple class to show any kind of ui the first thing we're going to be creating is called as a pop-up widget i'm going to be creating that class and also going to be inheriting the queue widget and we're going to be creating our first init so init is going to be obviously the boilerplate make sure to do that and we're going to be continuing on that with the next step which is to show a dialog box how do we show that the answer is very simple we'll create a simple button on clicking this button it's going to pop up a window and we're going to be do, doing stuff inside that so the first that for that we have to obviously create a simple method and let me call this init ui method and we need a button right so first of, for the button we'll be making use of the queue push button for those of you who don't know about it, Q push button is how you're going to be creating buttons in PyQt5. We learned about it in the previous video in detail, so I'm not going to go into that. What we need is a simple uh, text to show that the button's name. Let me call it as click here. And obviously the object specifying it to be created on where that exact class is. So button is created. Let's move it to a location like 20, 20. And now when the button is clicked, we need to show it the ui the pop-up so for that let me create another method called as show pop-up or show dialog and we're going to be making use of the class called as q input dialog which is a very easy class to create we are also going to be requiring three important objects three important uh, uh, labels for this so let's go get started so the q input dialog is going to have a lot of methods it's going to say you can either get text from the input from the user you can get a number you can get a float value you can get an integer anything you can get so i'm going to be getting a text from the user and it requires three important objects the one is the parent what is the parent for this obviously self next is going to be the title of the dialog box let me call it as a sample dialog finally what is going to be the label that is that the user should see say for example enter your name like this right this is how it's going to be shown to the user now this get text is going to return two important uh, values the first is the text itself and followed by if the user clicked OK or cancel, like did the user submit or did the user not submit? So let's go and print both these things here. Text followed by OK. For example, I'm just going to show you guys what happens. Now we have to create a connect it, right? So just do self dot show dialog. Now we've connected it and we also have to show this stuff to the user. So we're going to be creating is doing a self dot in UI. All right, so we've created it and we also have to create this object here, the main box. As usual, we have resized it to 2250. We are just saying it's setting a window title, showing it and we are executing the application. This is going to be a boilerplate. That's why I didn't want to change it. Let's go and run the application to see for ourselves how it shows. It says click here. When I click here, obviously it's opening up the dialog box. One thing that you have to note is that the dialog box is opened inside the center of where the application window is. If the application window size was 250, 250, and it's been it's showing exactly inside it. If the application window is like 600, 600, it still shows inside it only. There is no way that it's going outside the box. If you can see, it's not moving outside. You cannot pull it out. Uh, and that's very important part of this dialog box as well. Now, let's enter a name. Let me enter it as Bharat Vaj. That's my name. All. Bharat is my name. Enter. OK. And you can see that it's printing as Bharat my name as well as the OK was clicked. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Let me enter Bharat. But this time I'm not clicking OK. I'm just clicking cancel. If you see, it will just print the false value. There is no way the text is getting loaded. And that's a very important part of how we are going to be 
playing around with the data from the dialog box so pretty much how you can create your own dialog box this way it's a very template kind of a class if you want to uh, play around with it and create your own dialog boxes you can make use of the queue dialog class inherit the queue dialog class just like how you have done a queue widget just inherit the queue dialog and just change the title change the name and you can just play around with obviously all the buttons that are available you have a lot of different buttons like submit okay cancel okay just play around with this button and it automatically show up on the ui okay let's check one more once more if what i told the initially uh, holds true well, i'm changing the size of the application itself to 500 500 which is a bigger size now now let me run it and as i click on it as you can see it's still at the, at the center only there is no way that you can move it like outside this application it's going to be a bound inside this application you can still cancel it no problem it's going to still print false that's very important part of how the queue dialog or the dialog boxes in pyqt5 works so pretty much that what i wanted to show very simple and quick video hope you guys liked it if you did just smash that like and subscribe to the channel for more content on pyqt5 other python libraries lot more tutorials coming up let me meet you there and then spark peace out have a super awesome day